is going on everyone it's your guy cole jackson back here on road graders and today we're going to be taking a look at the soft spots in the baltimore ravens defense you guys had a lot of questions specifically about roquan smith specifically about the safeties a lot of people asking where's marcus williams and all this i want to use one video to try and address all of it because there was something i noticed in how the dallas cowboys attack this team you can go on twitter check out denard melton Spencer Schultz, all these guys that are also diving into the film, talking about the same stuff. So I'll try and do my best to break it down and break down what I saw. Um, but as always, drop a comment down below. Exchange your ideas, especially on the coverages. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you think I'm seeing it right. I always want to hear from you. Exchange ideas. Hit that like button if, uh, if you guys enjoy this breakdown. And hit subscribe if you're new here. So let's get into... The sponsor of this video, thank you to BetUS for powering this video. Week 4 odds already up. The Baltimore Ravens will have their lineup uh, for Sunday Night Football after the Bills complete their Monday Night Football game. Go check them out. And right now, special opportunity, 150% sign-up bonus using promo code YouTube150. When you sign up, throw 100 bucks down. BetUS is going to give you 50 free money in your pocket. Bigger bets, bigger wins. Go check them out. Um, so taking a look at the numbers here, this is kind of what it looked like. Um, you can see Dak Prescott best, you know, his best time was hitting the, uh, the middle of the field. And we're going to see exactly how he did that. And really what we're going to be focusing on is how he kind of kept this ball underneath the safeties and over top of the linebackers attacking that middle of the field pretty consistently in the seven to 15 yard range. So obviously that's going to overlap between two of these zones. Um, so let's get right into it. Um, run this play through come back break it down a little bit um so this is going to be just a pretty typical cover three look and you're going to see roquan smith go up for this ball and pretty perfect example of the type of spot they were going to attack so how this play is going to run down you have marcus williams starting off basically as a slot corner here i need my screen brush up let me grab that for you guys um so pop up marcus williams is going to come back and be or sorry Marcus Williams is going to come back and be that uh, deep uh, middle one-third. You're going to get the two corners dropping into one-thirds. Kyle Hamilton is going to step in and be that curl um, zone defender. Marlon Humphrey from the other nickel is going to be the curl over here. And then you're going to get um, hook zones from two of the linebackers on the inside. So as it kind of ends up, there it is. Trenton Simpson ends up blitz blitzing. Roquan fills his spot. There's your one, two, three, four. Um, zone defenders you got your one two three deep one thirds and so this is what i mean marcus williams is working back they're going to attack that perfect little you know we'll call it little island um in between the two coverages over top of the linebacker's head underneath the safeties um here we're going to get just kind of levels concepts from uh you get basically three in breaking crossing routes against cover one man um so again working that middle of the field uh you're going to basically get jake ferguson cd lamb and i believe that ends up going to it's either turpin or tolbert um but ends up breaking in and they're basically running routes into one another um but it's against man so it doesn't really coverage wise you know it doesn't really work against them because they just are looking for one of those three guys to break open against uh against man so here we're going to see dak prescott um use his eyes to freeze the deep one safety here um and then throw this as a back shoulder ball to cd and nate wiggins gets caught um you know gets caught kind of chasing so dak's going to drop back he's going to use his eyes to kind of look in the middle of the field here and that's going to freeze marcus williams he's going to get this one-on-one -on -one over here away from the safety and he's going to throw it knowing that marcus williams is going to break on this ball he's going to throw it away from him into that back shoulder and again nate wiggins just gets caught chasing in man coverage and it's going to be thrown right underneath the safety um outside here and i think it was denard that said it best um these teams are going to continue to to basically target nate wiggins target marlon humphrey on the outside when they get those one-on-one -on -one opportunities until they stop it and you know they're going to do it again on this this route this ends up being the pi call um but again he uses his eyes to look off the safety um so they're going to start here with Split safety looks. I believe that's Eddie Jackson on the far side, Marcus Williams here. Um, so Dak Prescott is going to look to his left, and that's going to pull both safeties. It's going to freeze this safety, and it's going to pull Marcus Williams into the middle of the field. That creates that one-on-one -on, -one on the wide side, and he's just going to 
basically put it up there for his guy to make a play. Now, this was offsetting penalties. I believe they had a holding call, so that it ends up coming back um, for a replay of down because uh, the PI play didn't count. But again, you're seeing the strategy that they had here to avoid these safeties as much as possible. Here, they're just going to run. Um, well, what, what Dak does so well, I believe that's Trenton Simpson right there. He's going to blitz. And they're just going to run that in-breaking route. And Dak does what you're supposed to when there's a blitz. Throw it into where the blitz are vacated, which is exactly what he did. Um, but again, throwing it short, middle of the field, um, underneath these safeties as much as possible, pretty consistently in this game. Doing it again here on the slant route. Um, you're gonna. He's actually going to look in the middle of the field right off the snap. So as he does that, he's going to see Marcus Williams cut this way creates this big area here so you know this is what i'm curious kind of in thoughts like i mean marcus williams isn't making plays on these but dak prescott looks to be doing everything in his power to use his eyes look off marcus williams and take him out like that seemed very much part of their game plan was to work away from these safeties and this play is a perfect example um so they're just going to schematically use flag routes at the safeties to take them out so i'll break it down a little bit here you're going to get brandon cooks on the inner slot he's going to attack the seam and then run a flag you got turpin here he's going to run a seam and then cut a flag and then what they do is they take the secondary or the second inside slot guy and he's just going to run into that vacated space so it looks purpose here use those flag routes grab these safeties create basically a big empty spot here and that's exactly what happens again over top of the linebacker's head i thought roquan should have carried this a little bit further just because he would see from his alignment right here that brandon cooks is a talking is attacking this uh the seam and then you're gonna get tolbert attacking the seam so i mean i would expect you'd have to carry a little bit of depth as a linebacker here and he just doesn't so i'm assuming what he's expecting is kyle hamilton to rotate over but they ran that flag route to take him out of the play um you see roquan turn around kind of yelling at his teammates to see what would happen there um but again just good scheme by the defense didn't work out for the ravens on that one and then just a couple in breaking routes here again underneath these safeties as much as possible back-to-back -back plays there's gonna be a little skip on this one sorry um, but these, it's the exact same play. It's two in-breaking routes underneath the safeties. This one gets them down to the one. Dak ends up running this in. Um, and then I threw this play in. This is just going to be that little dump route out to the fullback um, where Kyle Hamilton and Marlon Humphrey miss. This was on third and four. And if they have to punt here or go through it on fourth, probably ends this game. Um, but he takes it for 24. So again, they're going to do it basically again. They're just going to attack the short middle of the field, little little screen there. And then uh, Rico Dowdle takes it for 24. Um, so just again, short yardage underneath, um, trying to get yak from their guys on these final drives against a tired defense. And then again, we're going to work away from the safety as much as possible. We got cover one safety in the middle. And this is just thrown, and much like Nate Wiggins was, our Darius Washington gets caught chasing in for a touchdown. So felt very intentional what what the Dallas Cowboys wanted to do in this game, and Dak Prescott executed it very well, manipulating these safeties, getting them out of the game as much as humanly possible. Um, and credit to them for that. I mean, the, they had a game plan in mind. They executed it. Um, whether or not you think the safety should have been more aggressive. It certainly, to me, looks like it's part of the scheme. I agree with Spencer Schultz's take on it that you know they very much want to keep the ball in front of them as much as humanly possible, and I think this was the result of it. Uh, but you know, it looked pretty consistent. Attack that middle of the field, put it over Roquan's head as much as possible, but keep it away from those safeties and keep it underneath. So drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of these coverages. Did I miss something? Do you disagree? You know I want to hear from you. Let's talk it out. Hit that like button. If you enjoyed this breakdown, hit subscribe if you're new here. And thank you to BetUS for sponsoring this video.